this necklace. This necklace is the Women's Bicentennial 1976 ERA medallion created by a woman named Tony Carabello. She has had this since she was 24 years old. She is now 68 years old. And I know she's going to be a uh, great constituent for the delicate Mackinac, by the way, later this year. Uh, and so I've got her in the for you know, just you know, a few more months. But as I think about what brings people together, as I think about where do we find common ground, I just think back home. And I think the fact that my mom and I, we probably agree on about three weeks of public homes. You work 40 hours a week to be able to make enough money to take care of yourself. Scottish independence, no one ever sees that one come. <laughs> <laughs> and ratification of the Equal Rights Bill. Growing up here in Virginia and spending my entire life in Virginia, especially during my time as a reporter, I had to see time and time again that when the subject of civil rights came up here in the Virginia House of Delegates, it wasn't about what we could progress to include more people. It was about who we could exclude. I saw this happen time and time again, where transgender people like me have been compared to predators, pedophiles, and even been told that we're not supposed to be elementary school teachers because we would confuse children, because we would scare them because there's something wrong with us. And in 2006, I pressed the no button when I went to cast a ballot against the amendment that restricted my ability as a consenting adult to marry another consenting adult when she was a parent. That was 14 years ago. That was also the last time that we dealt with the constitutional amendment here in the House of Delegates regarding civil rights. Things are different now. Things are very different now. And today, we are not just considering something that will affect Virginia. We are talking about something that will affect the United States of America.
from the 28th Amendment to the United States Constitution that will read, equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United, United States, States or by any state on account of sex. To single someone out based on sexual orientation and gender identity is to inherently single them out on account of sex. To exclude anyone in this country because of who they are is inherently against the very concept of equality. And today, rather than single out someone, rather than leave people behind, we are making a statement of affirmation about what we are for, not who we are against. And today, we are telling every person in this room, every person in the gallery, and every child throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia and the United States of America that you can succeed because of who you are, and not despite it, and not for what other people tell you you're supposed to be. That this is your Commonwealth of Virginia too. That this is your United States of America too. And it is your time to run it. It is your time to thrive in it. And it is our time together to embrace equal rights under the law for everyone. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.